Step in the box, baseball fans. We're back for another episode of 2020 Topps Chrome. Can't get enough of it. Was fortunate enough, had one of the funnest days I've ever had in collecting cards. Me and a buddy went out at 8 o'clock in the morning, went to a mire, stood in line, got a couple items, got a few items here and there. Um, there were seven people there waiting for her. She comes at 9 o'clock. We got in line. She equally distributed to all of us. Picked up six blasters of chrome at various places. Picked up a couple of these, which did the gallery yesterday in one of them, but I'm going to open up the fire and show the fire. So these are Target. I had no idea they were different. And uh, so here we go. Another episode. I'm going to start with, um, I'm going to put the sapias on the side. I pre-opened to save time. And we're going to put those. So there's the blaster boxes. Oh, that didn't work too good. There's the blaster box packs. And then here are the hanger box packs. So I'm not going to open these. We did those yesterday. If you want to see those, I'm going to open these to see what they look like. So again, thanks for tuning in. We have a lot of new people. The, these look pretty slick. Fire. Sorry, Alonzo. Man, I actually really like those a lot. Those are cool. What do you guys think about those? Comment below. What do you think about those fire? I like those a lot. So we got a lot of new people. Lots of comments. Almost, well, well over 40 new subscribers. So thank you if you're tuning in. A um, little bit about me. I've been collecting cards a long time. I um, During this pandemic, I've been opening on camera. And been having a great time. So if you're tuning in, I enjoy opening cards. I appreciate you guys. Uh, let's see here. Appreciate you guys. Again, support. Any constructive criticism, I enjoy. Uh, had some negativity yesterday. Whatever. Can bounce off. But here we go. Started during the pandemic. Enjoy opening cards. And just decided to start doing it. For fun, again, this is amateur hour. So if you're expecting a full production, you're in the wrong place. This is just me opening my cards, what I typically buy. So if you're going to cry and say, oh, you open up too many cards. Well, this is what I typically buy during the year anyway. Now go back and look at my um, Shane Bieber video. That's what I do with my collection. There's all types of collectors out there. I open a lot of product. I sort it. I keep all the rookies. I get rid of the veteran base um, through various resources. And I keep all the rookie stuff of baseball for future investment. I keep all Cubs. I personally collect all Cubs. And um, there's a nice rookie. I'm going to sleeve Aquino. I personally collect all Cubs. And then from there, I put the rookies away for an investment. I get some of it graded. And um, I just enjoy the hobby. And today was one of the most epic days. If I was wearing a GoPro today and could edit and show you me and my friends encounters today, I believe within the hobby that our video would get like literally a few, like a, many thousands of views, 50 to 100,000 views. It was such a fun day. Me and my buddy started off at Meyer in line, got our stuff, and then we were deciding what we we're gonna do. I kind of wanted to go home because I didn't think it was gonna. I'm gonna put that in the comments pile. I'll sleep that later. Uh, and my buddy convinced me, let's go looking for cards, and we went to I don't know at least a dozen places, hit the targets. We walked into one mall at Walmart that I've been to before, and there was literally, I'm not joking, guys. 15 guys standing there waiting for the vendor. 15. 15. So we immediately left. We weren't sticking around dealing with all that. Speaking of which, uh, look at this. This is a piece from uh, that die cut card. That was cool. That was still... That was from the die cut card. So we, we took off. Came up with a different plan of where we we're going to go. Because again, I can go north, south, east, west and find pretty much all kinds of Walmarts, Myers, Targets. And we end up uh, scoring a little bit, me and my buddy. Not a ton, 
but a little bit. We, we had the best day in some of the funnest encounters. And again, I think if I had a video and edited it, it would be absolutely incredible. But anyway, again, that's kind of my story. Thanks again for tuning in. Refractor, rookie, going to top load that. Put that away for future. I keep all rookies. I don't get rid of rookies. So wow, what a what a release day. There's an Aquino refractor, very nice. So Aquino's coming out strong in this opening. But what I want to see is right now I'm opening the the uh, small little hanger boxes. This is the uh, third one. What I want to see is up top though. Are we going to match in those six blasters? Are we going to pull some autos out of there? Man, look at the Aquinos. This is crazy. That's the third one in three boxes. Wow, one in each. Johnny Lester goes on my PC. My Cubs, my Cubs stack is huge. From Chrome, I'm going to go. There's a Louis Robert on the back. I'm going to go to uh, my hobby shop tomorrow. I have a credit of $275, and unfortunately, that's not even going to be able to get a hobby box of chrome. I'm going to have to, I'm going to bring in some chrome to trade, <laughs> so that is crazy to me that $275 bucks can not even get a hobby box. That's wild, but hey, you should have seen the number of collectors out there today that we ran into. Had some funny stories, saw some funny cats, man. It was a blast. But, uh, yeah, here we go. This is probably my last go of chrome this year. I This is now pretty much equivalent to a case of chrome that I'm opening. And that's what I like to do. I like to get the chrome and hit as many rookies as I can and put them away. And, and that's how I collect. All right, here's the blaster boxes. So we hit tons of Aquino. Let's see what we hit in the blaster boxes. See what we hit. There was some guy yesterday who commented like, hey, you idiot, can't you see? Uh, it said you could see the refractor. Well, you know what? Pull out a iPhone 6 Plus and put it in front of your face and try to open cards with a screen in your face on a tripod. Like I said, it's amateur hour. I'm, I don't have like a suspended system. It, it, there's the refractor. You know, I never claim to be great. So if you want to be like, hey, dude, can't you see the refractors, man? You're such an idiot. Well, anyway, so that's, I would rather like, like right there, I can cut, there's a Kyle Lewis. You know, I could see that one with the the Vlad, but some of them, man, they're hard to see. Cut a guy some slack, man. It's not like I'm getting paid to do this. I'm freaking amateur hour, guys. And I've said that. Spend some time, go through, look through some of my uh, videos. I may be an idiot, but I'm not that big of an idiot. And there's a luck, so man, I tell you what, the rookies are rolling out. I'm enjoying that. That's why I open these. Unlike uh, basketball, the the values in rookies typically veteran isn't worth a whole lot. Depends on the player. He yeah, obviously parallels. Cubs pile for me. Thought that was um, trout for a second, but I'll take that. Belly star pile. So there's a rookie that I'll put away and like few years ago I put Shane Bieber's away like this and then this year now Shane Bieber's blowing up get a good get yourself a bunch of shoe boxes there's a Pete big meat Pete get yourself the shoe boxes and so that first blaster box I kind of messed up the one stack when I was moving them but no autos yet but at least they're all packs we'll know we'll see if we get any autos in six pack Six packs. I'll tell you what, if we get two autos, I've been watching some some breaks and 
There's a lot of trash bag autos, guys. That Bichette that I pulled was huge. There's a few cool. There's a refractor. Another, I think we pulled another Danzy in that other one. So there's a lot of trash bag autos. There's a few good ones, but man, that Bichette I pulled last night was good. You know, Chrome. Chrome is uh it can be it can be good with the autos, but there's a lot of crappy trash bag autos. Azalea from the Cubs, if you watch, and I'm a Cubs fan. There's a purple. Second color. Really. Nice purple. But if you watch the number of uh there's a KB, goes in my PC. The number of <laughs> Crappy autos. Like I said, each case now. The one guy already said he's opened up like four cases. He's like, Alzale has been in every case, and it's multiple autos. So, you know, it's a trash bag auto. At least right now. Maybe he becomes a stud. The chances of that of a pitcher are not good. And I'd like to think that the Cubs. And there we go. There's Mr. Robert. Heck yeah. That's the super hype. Bingo. It's a nice one. First time I've seen this card, the future star of a studio. It's McNeil. So again, thanks for tuning in. I try to keep it real. Don't claim to be a professional breaker. Yeah, I'm going to mispronounce some names. Why don't you guys try to pronounce my name? If you can pronounce my name right, then you guys can criticize me. How does that sound? I think that's a good idea for now on. If you can pronounce my last name correctly, you can criticize me when I say Louis Robert or Louis Robert or whatever. I said I said Nick Sloke yesterday because I just read so fast, Solak. Yeah, comment. I like it. I like it a lot. So again, I try to keep it real. You know, everybody's not, everybody's cup of tea. I break with a, a breaker. Shout out to um, Underground Case Breaks. And there's an auto, first auto. Seth Brown, I believe I pulled one of these yesterday. So there's, we've got a color and an auto. So Underground Case Breaks, little shout out to Brad. I've, he started out as a small time as well a few years ago, and he's been breaking on Facebook. So, Underground Case Breaks. He's a good dude. I like his flavor. He cusses a lot, which I don't cuss on YouTube a whole lot. Um, but he's on Facebook, and he does a good job breaking. He's opened some heck of a cards for me over the years. And... I got in the ass. I bought the Astros in a break for I thought a pretty good deal. So every now and then I get in breaks to try to load up on more rookie cards. I'm not sure. You guys tell me. Why is everybody so down on um Jordan Alvarez now? Because he hasn't played. Yeah, he's injured. He's gonna be back. He was rookie of the year last year. It's a short, weird season. Why all of a sudden are the Astros like nobody wants him in breaks? It's crazy to me. And here is a negative. Refractor and Marte is a monster, guys. This guy's value, I don't understand why his cards are so cheap. Marte is a flat out monster. So nice, nice negative there. But we're having a blast. Okay, so we got one autograph and two, um, I'm sorry, three blasters so far. One auto and three. I was going to say, there's no way that we uh, pull three today. Because I did three and seven. There's no way. The odds. Yesterday was just an odd, like, a lucky, lucky day. So we got one. Are we going to get two? For some reason, I doubt it. There's a trout. Trout goes on the star pile. It's a lot of trout. Any trout card is a good trout card. And also, uh, the price difference at Walmart and Target. Walmart, blaster boxes, um, 
Blaster boxes at Target, $19.99. Same regular price. Um, cello packs at Target, $9.99. At Walmart, $11.98. Same thing with Meyer. Meyer has the same prices as... Uh, so the prices... The prices are a few bucks higher at Walmart. So if you have the choice to choose, and again, at these days, these days, it's the Wild West out there, and you're competing against the Amazon sellers and the resellers. There's a nice Kyle Lewis. But um, if you have a choice, Target is the way to go. It's the reason I'm buying retail like crazy because there's, see like that one, I can kind of tell the refractor. All right, two boxes to go. And then we got the Sapias. It's been okay so far. I wouldn't say it's been awful. I wouldn't say it's been great. You tell me, what do you guys think of this break? I'm flying through these now. Haven't hit a lot of big name, any color in terms of refractors. Still got those sapias. Hit some uh, big name guys. My Cubs pile as usual is getting big. But you know, that's another thing about this hobby. There are many, many different kind of collectors. There's guys like me who open, who buy a lot, and I collect the Cubs and put the rookies away and sell everything else. There are guys who only buy sealed product and put sealed product away. And don't open it and keep it for the future. Another cease. There are guys who are just player collectors. They only collect certain players. There are some guys who are set collectors. They buy to put together sets. And uh, I thought that was a Robert uh, refractor there for a second. Um, there are guys who, who just buy complete sets on eBay. There are many, many. There are, there are rainbow collectors. They're guys who only buy certain products. There's a, another KB. So I respect um, the many, many different ways to collect. There are mega buyers. I know a guy, like I open a fair amount, but I know several guys, not just a guy, several guys who are mega collectors. Like literally they have 150 to 200 rookies of, of like Louis Robert in the base series too, they will open and they'll get 200 of those. And they'll put, it's crazy. Um, I did that with series two last year because of rookie class. And man, let me tell you what, go back and watch some of my videos from series two. When I started during the pandemic, I opened up a lot of hanger boxes and I, it was overwhelming at times. Uh, that's a green, retail green. Actually, I think it's not just retail because I saw one on the break. Santana, so second color. Probably not going to get an autograph since it's a color. And here's another Kyle Lewis of these. That's the second one of those. So I would say this this has been a fun time. Wouldn't say it's been awful. It's um this is a decent opening. There's another belly. Here we go. Again, if you're tuning in and you're complaining that I'm opening cards, I'm not buying a retail box. They've already jumped up $300 at my local hobby shop. Three, three bills. Three bills. I just, there's a refractor. Nice. There, hey, for the guy who commented, there's Nick Solak for the Texas Rangers. I drove down for spring break last year to Arlington to see the Cubs just destroy the Rangers. So that was a fun day. I used to live in uh, Houston for a couple years, out of college, two years. Moved back home to Illinois. Probably should have stayed down in Texas. More bang for your buck. Taxes in Illinois suck. 8.5% sales tax on these guys. Eight and a half. I can go across the border in Wisconsin and get it for 5%. Welcome to Illinois. Toro. Rosario Refractor. And there we have it with the um, all the base. Let me get this out of the way. 
So there's like some of the inserts of the of the rookies. Here's the stack of refractors. We got some of the good stuff in front of me. Here we go. The Sapia refractors. I like these. I'm not sure why these don't carry as much value as the pink. I guess people like pink. Yelich. And that pack was a dud. So I got to go through these and do a quick sort tonight. And there we go. Rookie. Got some. There's Mookie. Put Mookie there. Arenado should be a bigger stud than he is. But I got to go through and do a sort to take these to the hobby shop. Not all of them. Just the base. Non-rookie. Non-stud. There's a rookie. Veteran kind of crap. There's a Harper. Kind of some of the just the, the base. that Because I, I don't like it stacking up. And trade it in. My hobby shop's really good about trade-ins of that because he wants thousands of cards. He'll be, ooh, there's a trout. Heck yeah, boys. Caught a trout. Any trout's a good trout. Whoo, that's a nice card. Any, any color of trout's a good card. Put that there. Very nice. Still looking for some major rookies in this. But we got two packs to go. Eight more cards. Come on. One of the big rookies. There's a rookie. Not the big rookie. Joey Votto. And Kane. Kane not playing this year. All right. Last one, guys. Last chance. What do you think about this? Thanks for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, comment, share below. Appreciate the support. So there's the last Sapia. Nothing major in the Sapias. A few rookies, but nothing big. Um, let's do a little quick recap. So here's the color. A green, a negative, and a purple. So a little more color. This was the, uh, the trout. These were the refractors. And there's the one auto. So definitely retail was not crazy. Here's some of the... Uh, I put kind of the star sapias and the rookie sapias to the side. So those will go into sleeves. And then here's why I collect, guys, right here. This is what I try to load up on. Rookies. Pretty good. Look at that. Aquino, man. Holy cow. One of them was a refractor. So that's a pretty good haul overall. It wasn't an awesome opening by any means. But again, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Please like, subscribe, share, comment below. What do you think? Until next time, peace.